Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Van Amsen and today we have something uh, super interesting line up uh, for you. A problem that's easy to understand but will give your brain a nice workout. So we are tackling lead code 767 uh, reorganized uh, string problem and this isn't just a problem. It's a puzzle that you are going to love solving. So uh, buckle up because we are diving deep into this one. So, all right, let's understand what the problem is asking us about. You are given a string S uh, filled with lowercase uh, English letter and your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to rearrange this string in such a way that no two adjacent character are the same. So, uh, if that's not possible, we return an empty uh, string. So, to put it in a context, if the string is A, A, B, we could potentially uh, rearrange it to uh, A, uh, B, A. So, uh, got it? So, great. Now, let's dive into uh, detail and code uh, this out. So, I will be coding it in Python today, but fear not, if you are into other programming languages, I will put the equivalent code in Java, uh, C++, Go, Rust, and much more uh, in the description below, uh, so you are covered. Now, let's uh, talk strategy. We are going to use a Python uh, hip library to make uh, this happen. So, why hip, you ask? Well, hips are excellent at keeping track of elements based on their uh, priority which in our case is the frequency of each character in string. So this data structure will sort out mm, characters by their frequency in a descending order, making it easier to select the most frequent character first. So uh, step one uh, is to initialize our uh, frequency map and max heap. So we will iterate through the string and count how many times each character up here. So let's implement it. Uh, count frequency of each character. So frequency map will be map and for char in s frequency map char will be frequency map get char plus one. And yeah, uh, in S. Okay. So uh, now uh, we need to build max heap based on the uh, frequency. So uh, let's implement it as well. So build uh, max heap based on frequency. So max heap will be minus frequency and char for char frequency in frequency map item and hippify max heap and initialize result string. Okay, so uh, if we working with uh, an input like a, a, b, our max heaps would uh, look like uh, this after initialization. So it will be uh, minus two A and minus one for B. So now uh, let's uh, get into the core logic. So uh, we will keep popping the two uh, most frequent uh, character from our max heap, place them in our result. And if they still have a remaining frequency, we will push them back into the uh, heap. So uh, we will initialize a result string and then alter uh, placing the most common uh, letter. So result and alternate placing the most common letter. Okay. So while len of max heap greater than two, 
frequency one character one hip hip pop max hip and frequency two character two will be hip hip pop max hip as well and results extend character one and character two and if frequency one plus less than zero hip q hip push max hip and frequency one plus one character one and if frequency two plus one less than zero hip push max hip frequency two one character two so if max hip frequency character will be hip hip pop max hip and if minus frequency greater than one return empty and result append character and return join result okay so after our first loop uh, iteration our result uh, string become a b and as you can uh, see the two a uh, are separated by uh, a b uh, which is exactly what we want so to wrap up we need to handle any remaining characters uh, if a character still exists in the heap and its frequency is greater than one that means we can't find a unique uh, partner for it uh, so we return an empty uh, string and yeah and there we have it uh, our final output for uh, a a b should be a b a so let's test it and see if our implementation work so yeah all working so now we can submit it for unsynthesized cases as well uh, to verify and yes all working and our implementation this time bit 93 percent with respect to runtime uh, 35 uh, milliseconds and 46 percent with respect to memory so uh, it's good and efficient so uh, that's how you tackle this uh, fantastic problem uh, i hope uh, this detail uh, breakdown uh, helps you understand not just uh, the what but also why and uh, uh, how of this solution and if you have any question or different approaches feel free to drop them in the comment section below and don't forget to check out the description for code in other programming languages and as always see you next time keep practicing and happy coding